so good day everyone i am andre alferas from ece22 and i am here for experiment number seven about functions so for the part one a leap year writing your own function so here are the objectives and let's proceed to the scenario your task is to write a test and test a function which takes one argument a year and returns true if the year is leap year or false otherwise so we have a skeleton over here to follow in order to put our code this two three four lines and by looking at this we can have a flashback on our previous experiment and that is experiment five so on experiment five here is the code that i made we are cop we are going to copy the same concept however the common year must be replaced with the word false and the leap year would be true based from the condition and that's it and we are going to omit this line since we must have the criteria for a leap year so to have that definitely this is my whole code but the code over here is already provided the skeleton so what i made is that if year divided by four is not equal to zero then it would be false but on the experiment five it is written common year so and that's it divided by 100 not equal to zero be true divided by uh, 400 it's not equal to zero false else return true so let's try it let's copy this Okay, so 1900s, okay, 2000, okay, 2016, okay, 1987, okay, so definitely our code was good. So, observations, just like from the previous experiment, just like what I have said, experiment 5, some of the lines in the code are omitted because the main focus is the criteria of being a leap year of a certain year. A much careful coding must always be observed as missed character, misspelled word, or any form of mistake will automatically have a high chance for the code not to be executed. But in this case, common year is just transformed to false and leap year is just transformed to true. The output per year is accompanied with OK, making it to be this. Okay, so for the part two, how many days writing and using your own functions? By the way, we have already used experiment five, so let us just close this. Yes, uh, have the same concept. Uh, yeah, projecting, utilizing, testing, uh, projecting, utilizing, utilizing, okay, almost the same concept, or uh, rather, objectives, but on the scenario, let us write. Your task is to write a test function which takes two arguments, a year and a month. So another um, parameter was added, and that is the month, and returns the number of days for the given month or year pair while only February is sensitive to the year value. Your function should be universal. The initial part of the function is ready. Now convince the function to return none if its arguments don't make sense. Of course, you can and should use the previously written and tested function love 4.1.3.6 it may it may be helpful it may be very helpful 
We encourage you to list fill demands lengths you can create it inside the function. This trick will significantly shorten the code. We've prepared a testing code, expand it to include more test cases. So this is the skeleton. We've provided already our code here from lab 4.1. Point three point six. By the way, this lab is from here. There. I just copy this and put my code. So for the next part is already. I guess. Yes, this one because this week the month so proceeding with that so we are now on the point seven uh, definitely uh, I'll just copy this and I inserted my code here and my code here was Erase this. Of course, I prepared it already for an easy uh, discussion right now. So, if year is less than 1582, it means it is not yet on the Gregorian calendar period or month. It's less than one. Zero, of course, there is no zero month or negative one month or negative months or month greater than 12 13 and up no month is that it would return not so the days because we are also tasked or we have a clue that to make a list is our goal so what i did is that 31 for the january 28 for the normal year of february and march and so on up to uh, December. So if you are uh, having a hard time, just use the hand method point like that, and you're going to get these numbers. So rest result is equal to days month minus one. And thinking logically, it makes sense. So if that month is two, and that two is this twenty eight, I mean the february and is leap year so if that would be considered a sleep year then that result must be equal to 29 because a leap year february contains 29 days and return less and that's it so let's try executing this code what we are going to get boom so again it's just like the same from the part one but we have two two one and eleven so those numbers indicates two for february february one for uh january and eleven for november and okay so that's it observations excuse me the code right now is the continuation of the part one with another parameter added and that is the month the same concept was applied but with a little bit of twist especially in the month of february of course it also worked and since month was added the output became like this so the same output yes the same so we're done and for the part three by the way this is the last part day of the year writing your own functions so for the objectives projecting and writing parameterized functions utilizing the return statement building a set of utility functions utilizing the students own functions so scenario your task is to write and test a function which takes three arguments a year, a month, 
and a day of the month or the date meaning we have already have three parameters if we can observe from a year large uh, large range then cut it into month and into smaller day of the month and returns the corresponding day of the year or returns none if any of the arguments is valid from the previous one use the previously written and tested functions add some test cases to the code this test is only a beginning so of course we are done over here and we are to get our code here 1.8 and definitely we are done here here and we are we are to focus now on the year month day since again i already pre-made my code this is my code let's copy it there so let's skip this we're done discussing about it and just proceed over here so def day of year year month day days is equal to zero yes for m in range one comma month md for days in month year m year comma m if md is none then it would return none and if days is plus equals md or the uh, md is equivalent to days in month year comma month if day is greater than one if day is greater than one so that is greater than or equal to rather so one and up and day is less than or equal to md where in md is this it would definitely return days plus day else of course it would return none so by uh, thinking about this i guess it would work since aside from i already tried it the code was justifiable and let's try executing it <coughs> there 366 so it's something like a calculator of the order of the thing so verifying how did we get 366 or 366 it is here on the print day of year because it is the initial one written over here I just copy but looking at looking at it 2000 is definitely or the year 2000 is definitely a leap year so of course since it is a leap year we would uh, we're going to expect it to be 366 and meaning this date of 2000 of December 31 is the 366th uh, day of that year or the last day Ever, for example changing 2000 to 2001 we would think that since it is also December 31 it must be also 366 however let us see if we run it 365 only what does it, it mean it means that this date is a common year or not a leap year since 2001 will not fall under the the criteria of being a leap year <coughs> but example we try since 1582 is the start of the gregorian calendar period of course let's try 1581 if it would work of course not or none as what we must to expect since it is from here that the 
condition was applied. How about changing this into let's bring back this to 2000 but change the month into like 13. Let's see if there is 13 month or 13. Of course, nothing. Uh, it's, it's like error about zero. Let's try zero. like that again still what it is is what it is so if you try like one and one of course just in one one we would expect one <coughs> and there and I guess it works so observations the code is not complete with the combination of the part 1 and part 2 and is so flexible in order to determine the exact order of the given date in a whole year. Of course, 365 of the last date of the year means it is normal. It is a normal year, while 366 for the last date of the year means it is a leap year. It is strict in the sense that round date and month will not do and also the idea of when the Gregorian calendar period started also applies as the year will not be counted otherwise it will have a result of none. So to conclude this, uh, I can say that since this experiment stopped at from year, month, and day, I guess we can also put it on a smaller one like uh, R and from that into minutes and from that into seconds so it has many applications too not only that and still uh, again the sense of making uh, very what they all this very careful coding as if only one element would be missing of course it would definitely not work and that's it for this experiment number seven i hope you like it and you learned something and bye